Thomas Jefferson is really the father of the Navy Yard. He was very concerned about the attack on Washington by the British. So he saw to it that a Navy Yard was built here. The naval ports were in the New England colonies. Washington was a nothing. After the turn of the century from 1800 to 1900, this became a more industrial site. It needed labor. And labor is what drew people to the Navy Yard. Nowhere else in the city had that industrial population. Labor means not rich people, but immigrant people, Irish, Italians, Germans, and before 1865, slaves and free blacks. There were lots of working class houses. The streets were lined with them. World War II, 26,000 people worked 24 hours a day making all the technology that went into war. It was an industrial site. It's what happened all over the country where there were industrial sites. The land was polluted. And it is no secret that in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, people didn't come to the Southeast. All of the little shops and the little stores that depended on the foot traffic that went in and out of the Navy Yard were gone. And as they were gone, you had derelict places grow up. It was an open drug market, and it was a disaster. I was a young teenage punk rocker in the straight edge scene in the 80s. I would come down here sometimes for the clubs like tracks. I just remember you had to pay people to guard your car, and this was one of the more dangerous neighborhoods at that time. There was nothing here. We didn't have a grocery store close by, and we didn't have this nice recreation center, and people were excited. It was a brand new neighborhood. It is Navy Yard. They've tried a couple different names, you know, Capital Quarter and other names, to try to sort of brand the neighborhood, but we refer to it as Navy Yard. When I first moved here with my family, people were like, I can't believe you're down there. Is it safe? And it's very, very safe. Now it's one of the most densely populated areas in the city. We are at the front of the Capitol Quarter Complex. This place was not vacant. There had been public housing here. And the residents from that were displaced, not voluntarily, they were forcibly displaced, to make way for the development under Hope 6. This area has the name Arthur Capers. Some say Cappers, some say Capers. <laughs> but it was a project, and it was part of the redevelopment. It was leveled, and the whole area is called Hope 6. The main point of Hope 6 was to integrate low housing, medium housing, and to integrate the community together. The program has been very successful, I have to say that. But a lot of the people couldn't come back because of other issues. But it was set up that everybody who had qualified could come back. This is a mix of market rate housing, workforce housing, and affordable rental housing. And as you can see, the homes are all integrated together, so you can't really tell which is which unless you know what to look for. One of the main differences with the workforce homes is they're narrower. My house is just 13 feet wide and it feels less than that because of the stairs. I call it the Stairmaster house. These are designed to look like historic Capitol Hill homes, not the fancy Victorian so much, but you know, the more traditional Capitol Hill row houses. There's also the senior building where some of the original residents as well as other seniors moved in after that was completed. Unfortunately, that burned down several years ago in a four alarm fire. I was one of the ones that was displaced because of the fire. The senior center, that's, that was my love. We had musicians, we had retired teachers, we had folks that love art and like dancing. My relationship with the Arthur Capers Community Center is I am a sewing instructor, I am a jewelry maker, and I just love kids. So. I mentor with the young people in the after-school program. The community center has been a great benefit 
to the community. We go over there for the gym, basketball pickup games, the kids enjoy it, aftercare for school is there. It's really been, you know, a great benefit to everybody that, that lives around here. We have great neighbors. You know, everybody has the same attitude. Everybody has the same sort of culture around making sure that this is a great place to live.